What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back with my June oven and today we about to find out. We're about to make some June air fryer thighs and legs. I'm going to use a favorite Kentucky Colonel. This is one of the favorites in my um, air fryer group. Um, and shout out to my air fryer group. We have over 52,000 members in there. Shout out to y'all one time. Alright guys, I got my egg wash right here ready. Room temperature. I rinsed off my chicken. And I'm going to add some pink salt, black pepper, and garlic to the mix. This will help out the Kentucky Colonel. If you don't, it'll taste a little bit bland. And that might be alright to some of you, but that ain't going to fly around here. Alright, and also for coloring, I'm going to put some smoked paprika. You could just use regular paprika, but I don't know where my regular one is, so I'll just put this on there, no problem. Actually, I prefer smoked paprika anyway. Alright, so we're going to mix all that around. Alright, this is what they look like. So we are ready to um, start to prepare the chicken with the flour and so forth, egg wash. All right guys, so I'll just do one in front of you. And I'm just gonna dip it, well, put it in my flour. Make sure everything gets it pretty good. And we're gonna double dip it today. Normally I don't. But today, I feel like it. All right, I'm going to put it in my egg wash. Boom. And grab it. Do it again. Flour should pretty much stick on at this point. Make sure you get everything. And just shake off the excess. You get the point. All right, guys, got it done. Now I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Now I know thighs have a lot of um, of its own natural oils coming out of it, so the thighs won't need too much, but the legs probably will need a little bit more. I'll put a link in the description to my Evo oil sprayer. I'm going to flip them over and do it to the other side as well. Actually, I'm lying. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to flip over the drumsticks and do that. Because I think, like I said, the thigh should do so much, it should so, be so much natural um, oil coming out of the thighs, it, it'll be fine. And finally, just to keep it sexy, I'm going to put some black pepper on the top. To give it some nice presentation. I call it some freckles. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to place them on this uh, rack. And this rack came with the June oven. The roasting rack and this pan under it. Hey guys, instead of using my roasting rack, I'm going to use my air fryer basket. Duh. So now I can fit everything in there cool all right and I took another basket and I lined it with foil so it can catch the dripping I think we're ready y'all all right that's on the bottom all right and so that's right in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my meat thermometer connect it to this piece right here sorry I couldn't see it there you go Plug it into right there. And we should be good. 
All right. We should be good. Let's close it and see what June says. Okay, she did recognize that it's chicken in there. She's drumsticks and breasts. Let's see what happens if I hit drumstick. Roast. Well, I don't want to roast it. Okay, so that's all it's giving me right now. So June, start getting um, air fryer uh, recipes programmed into your presets. That would be cool. So I have to do it on my own. All right, so we're going to go to air fryer. Okay, so it's telling me. Yeah, I did that. Oh, yep, did that. Uh, I'm going to do 450. For the first probably 12 minutes I'm gonna put it in for 24 minutes and see 450 yeah that should be good all right food temp see that that's cool so now oh I could set the thermometer Word. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so let me set the thermometer. I'm going to go to 165 is what we need. I'm going to go to 170 just in case this is off. Give me a little cushion. <laughs> Boom. So it's estimating my cook time. That's cool. Let's see what it comes up. Oh, let me hit that. Oh, it's still estimating. Okay. It's just coming along good. It gave me a time now. Ten minutes? Eh. I think it's going to need more than that, but it's still looking good. Great thing about air frying on any device. You can always make... Sorry, you can always make changes. No problem. But this is going to take more than 10 minutes. It does say it's at 114, so it's assuming. I don't even see any mess. Well, I noticed with the time, it keeps going, like, from when I just recorded um, before, the, the time keeps going back up, which is good. So it's constantly recalculating, which is fine. But what's a game changer about this, as I was thinking on my couch, I mean... I didn't even set a time. So when it reaches the temperature, it's done. So I could literally, like the next time I do this, I'm just going to walk away and just do what I got to do. So that's, that's, come on, that's, that's awesome. What oven you know do that? Now I might pause it a little and hit some of my, like my drumstick to the, to the top. Needs a little bit of olive oil. We may do that. We'll see. But it's looking good, man. Smelling good. All right, guys. I took it out, added some oil, and the machine pauses when you do that, which is good. And now we're back. All right, it's getting a little foggy in there, but at the same time, we are almost done. All right, it just stopped, but I'm going to let it go for about another five minutes just to be sure. Almost at five minutes extra. All right, we have five minutes now. 180, what is it? 185. Look at that. All right, cancel cooking. What I did is I flipped them over. You can't see it, but it's a little like wet, like a oily, wet, kind of soggy. So I'm going to blast it at 500 for five minutes. And let's see what happens. Do it, like I said, I'm going to do it for five minutes. 
That's what I'm talking about, guys. I'm going to take these out, let them rest um, on some paper towels. And uh, I'll make a quick salad and we'll, we'll get to eating. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Alright guys, it is time to eat. I made my salad. Alright. Let's take a look at this here. Not bad. Flaky. Go ahead and have a bite. Take that. You got it? Alright. Let's see what we're working with. Good. I like it. Let's take another bite. Mm-hmm. Let's also have some of this salad. Shout out to my vegans. I have a bite. That's French dressing, by the way. Mm-hmm. Anywho, guys, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. If you guys have an Instagram, look me up at Cooking with Doug on Instagram. And, you know, I wanted to show you guys if or, you know, how this would turn out if you do it in air fryer mode. I didn't see anybody do it on YouTube, so I want to be the first one. And, and June, if you're watching, remember, we need that preset on air fryer recipes now. All right. I got a I got a group of uh, fifty two thousand members that that I'm gonna post this to that's gonna watch this. So we need some presets on air fryer mode. Um, but other than that, um, this was fun. Um, it came out well. I like that internal meat thermometer. And my bad, guys. I meant to show you guys because you do know this oven. Oh, some of you don't know, but some of you do know this oven can re it records as it's um, cooking so you can see from your cell phone or your tablet the progress of your food as it's cooking which is fantastic I forgot to do that my bad but I had fun and I hope you enjoyed this video and you know we'll tweak it next time because uh, I am the the test dummy because you know I had no one to look at I just had to go in and take one for the team but it came out good I enjoyed it and I'm going to enjoy this food hit like if you like it Remember to subscribe, and if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.